So what are the value chain, the value chain in coconut uh, industry? Uh, the value chain mm. is very vast. Okay. <laughs> Let me start from coconut seedlings. We have two planting um, months in the year or planting seasons in the year, June okay. and October during the rainy season. Mm. And because co coconuts have become so popular, most people now want to farm coconuts. They want mm. to plant and grow, they want to have their own plantations. If you go to the market, one coconut right now is about 500 naira. 500 naira. Right. Oh, wow. So imagine somebody that has 2,500 trees mm. and each tree produces 200 nuts. Mm. So 2,500 trees times 200 nuts in a year, that's 500,000 nuts. So 500,000 nuts times 500 naira, that's mm. 250 million naira. Wow. So the business of seedlings is one thing. So before you can have a farm, you have to have you have to buy the seedlings and plant the seedlings. Mm -hmm. So the seedlings is one. Then obviously the coconuts is another. Once you have a farm, you're going to sell the coconuts. Either you sell it to companies that process or you process it yourself or you sell it in the market. Right. But you're yeah, going to sell the coconuts and mm -hmm. you're going to earn money. Yeah. You're going to earn money from that. And again, you know, marketers of coconuts are making a lot of money as well. Mm -hmm. Then let's go to the tree and the nuts you can make um coconut sap or coconut sugar so the right. sap can be converted to sugar mm -hmm. and that's from tapped from the tree oh really then, it's the first yeah. time i'm hearing that <laughs> yeah yeah and then you can take the nut the husk mm. you know that you have the husk of the coconut yeah so the husk now you you can grind it you see cocoa peats on our website yeah, yeah, so I saw that on your website, yeah. You grind the husk to produce cocoa beans. Very critical for nurseries or raising um, seedlings in a nursery, any, any kind of seedling. Mm -hmm. Then, after, after the husk, you go to the shell. Yeah. The shell, you're producing briquettes, you're producing bowls, you're producing charcoal. Those mm -hmm. are things you can produce from the shell. Then right. the, the white flesh. You can make flakes, oil, anything. Then the water. Mm -hmm. You can make coconut water, bottle it, um, coconut vinegar, and so on and so forth. So, what were the things that you saw though? Because I find it interesting that you can take a little product like that and turn it into so many things. Yes, I found that there was no part of the coconut that goes to waste. And that is actually true to many products, but especially so of the coconut. So the coconut shell is, is valuable. You can make you know, pots and potted plants out of it. You can make it into activated charcoal. Um, the coconut uh, shaft goes, makes coconut flour. You make oil out of it, you make milk out of it. So we just thought, okay, this is one product which we have in abundance where in Lagos, you know, we've got miles and miles of, of kilometers of, of um, land for, for coconut production. And so we thought, let's just use this mm -hmm. and yeah.